front end of the surge. Doctors at the University of Kansas Hospital warn that the coronavirus outbreak will continue to grow, but say it's up to all of us how much it will grow. At KU Med, they are now treating 16 patients with COVID-19. Eight or nine of them are on ventilators. Today, the Kansas City Fire Department announced a firefighter has tested positive for coronavirus. That's the first confirmed case involving a first responder in the metro. That firefighter is in self-quarantine. KCTV5 has learned that employees of Truman Medical Center have tested positive for COVID-19. And because of the pandemic, the union that represents many of those employees is making demands to the Missouri governor. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar is live now at Truman Medical Center. So Leslie, do we know how many employees have tested positive? Right now, the hospital will only say some of their 8,000 employees have tested positive. They say they believe the employees contracted the virus out in the community, not while at work, and they're now quarantined at home. Healthcare workers here and at hospitals and healthcare agencies across the metro feel that they are at risk and they want more done to protect themselves. Everybody's in a panic. Everybody's scared. Don't nobody know who's been contracted, who's been around who. So Ebony like, Smith is a certified nursing I... assistant at Truman Med Lakewood. She's a single mother of four struggling to find child care while school is out and she's needed for her 12 hour shifts at the hospital. What do I do? How do I handle the situation? You know, I need my job. You know, I have things to pay. So when I call the job to ask them, do they have anything implemented? And for me to get no response, it was like devastating because it's like at this point, like, what do I do? Ebony is one of thousands of workers represented by the Service Employees International Union. They represent support staff from dietitians to laundry workers at Research Medical Center as well as Truman Medical Centers. They are sorely underpaid even before this crisis came about. Uh, they do not, they are not provided the same medical equipment in many cases that doctors and nurses are provided, yet they come into contact uh, with the same residents and of course they come home and have interactions with friends and family. Union Vice President Lenny Jones sent a letter to Governor Mike Parson today demanding employer paid health care and free COVID-19 testing, sick leave, hazard pay, child care assistance, adequate personal protective equipment, unemployment insurance for reduced hours, and a statewide eviction freeze. He's also asking that the state declare a stay-at-home order like is already in place here in Kansas City. I've got to evaluate that whether I shut down the entire state with that order or not. I still think the most important thing you can do, and I think when it really gets down to all the red tape that we go through, it's a matter of staying home if you don't have to be out. Right now we are in a period of community spread that is very, very clear. It takes more than just doctors and nurses to support a health care facility. We have members who are ill, members who have requested testing, haven't been able to get testing yet because of a lack of supplies, but a lot of fear out there. Governor Parson is holding daily telebriefings where reporters can email in questions. I asked about all the health care unions demands, but only got an answer about the COVID-19 testing. I would be willing to change that if it was possible to do, but I know every day there's a shortage of the test kits that are out there and we have to allocate which ones we think are a priority for our state. Now, the union is also advocating that health care employers make the changes that they're asking for, but they do want the governor's support on that. Now, Truman Medical Center says they are working on a plan to get child care for their employees, and they already have financial counselors in place to help them navigate bills during this crisis. Reporting live in Kansas City, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. Leslie, thank you.